Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, let's talk about using Finviz to do some kind of a pre-market analysis to see what stocks you want to day trade, right? It's an extremely great tool if you're looking to find stocks to day trade. Now, Finviz shows you the pre-market data only after 9 o'clock, so right now it's 9.09, so which means you should be good to go in terms of finding uh, some kind of stocks to trade uh, when the market opens. So first thing you want to do is go to, um, let's go back to the home page over here. So you want to go to screener. You want to do industry stocks only because you only want to trade stocks, not ETFs. And something which has an average volume of over 300,000 shares. Something I want to do is actually over an average to range over 0 0.5. So I don't want to trade penny stocks. I want to trade stocks which has actual movement. Um, now, the good thing about it, Finviz is you can actually scan based on uh, the volume, right? So any stocks, let's say I want to trade stocks which has over 50,000 in pre-market volume. I can quickly take a look at, you know what, there's 31 stocks. And let's take a look at the stocks individually. Um, so first, of course, there's First Solar, right? You can also put a parameter based on price. So I don't want to trade uh, super, like over $100 stocks. So I want to put a price, something below $100, which is what I want to trade. And let's take a look. Right. So right out of the bat, of course, there's First Solar. So you click on First Solar. It's going to show you all the data over here. So it's gapping up over 10.58%. Um, Pre-market volume is about 83,000 shares, which is really good. Uh, so first is for solar. And let's see if there's anything else. Okay, let's see, let's see. So two stocks, which really comes, uh, when I take a look at it, is of course, there's Starbucks. And there is this Nuva, but I'm not sure what happened to this Nuva, but this gap down is pretty dramatic on here, down about 10.39%. Um, okay, but when I just look at, I want to trade stocks which has a lot of volume pre-market, and I want to trade stocks which is uh, has some decent gap. So right off the bat, I want to take a look at, there's a stock for solar, and there's a stock um, which I like is, Starbucks, right? So, first solar and Starbucks are kind of like a shock gapper, right? I mean, last previous days, I mean, a couple of days, people thought that this was actually um, gonna go south. I mean, yes, yesterday there's a big volume push down, and today there's actually a popping back up. So, it means everybody who was trying to short over here is kind of trapped, but this is not really a great trap because um, there's still a lot of people buying over here actually anticipated this up move right it's only the last few days these people got trapped in terms of starbucks um so people over here they were already already anticipating this down move and yesterday there's a big up move thinking or some positive positive things going on but today actually gap down down here so i'll put i'll go back to screener and i'll put first solar and starbucks on my watch now, sometimes uh, when stocks are over 50,000 50, shares, you might not see everything. Uh, so I want to reduce this and do technical and say gap up or I say change up 3%. Right. So these are stocks which are changing up 3% in the pre-market. Um, trying to see if there's anything that I want to take a look at. Uh, no, nothing too enticing. So all the solars looks like they are all popping back up, right? SPWR, CSIQ, and of course, the first solar. What about change down 3%? Uh, okay, so there's this FLS, there is NUVA, and GT. Uh, GT is gapping right to the support level, so I don't really want to take a look at this. FLS 
it's capping down to $42. So $42 is kind of like a support level over here. So this is more going to be a bounce play than anything, right? It's capping down right here. Yeah. Coming around this $40 level. So the ATR on it is zero to 0 0.93, so which is pretty uh, slow stock. Um, let's take a look. And of course, there is this GT. GT is capping into support as well. So the ATR is 0 0.57. I'm not sure how much range it can really have. I mean, if there is a really a big drop down, then yeah, maybe it can have a range. But um, I can't really see it too convincing. So I'll just watch the two stocks. Um, Alliance. Right. So you can see the pre-market information down here. Um, okay. So that's it for the day, guys. I mean, that's pretty easy to take a look at the scans, right? Take a look at what's moving the pre-market based on your scan parameters and see um, whether you find any good stocks to trade or not. If you don't, then you know what? You can try to do different things with this um, screeners and you can find the right stocks to trade. Hope you guys uh, like the video. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.